What's up guys? If you see a stain on my shirt, please, please ignore it. It's, it's an oil stain, okay? Today's video is a little different. I haven't done a mental health one in quite some time, so I wanted to make sure I put one out there. This, for, in, oh my god, I can't speak. I wanted to put one out there because it's been a while. In my brand, my content, I want to still say my own mental health struggles and how to have people, or and have people relate and have something to look as, like, a similarity in their life. Because, you know, you're not alone in whatever in this world that we are in. But this video, I wanted to be, like, making you relook at depression, anxiety, or whatever mental health you're going through. That it doesn't define who you are. And it took me a while to truly understand what that means and to actually use it in my life and like kind of like in a way where you like you do what you preach because I would always if somebody were to come to me I would always be like you know it's not you like you are still your own person like this don't let this define you but I didn't I didn't do that myself and now I feel like I'm at a place where I'm comfortable talking about my mental health problems and my past mental health problems, all the negatives that I've gone through, my own timeline of how I got to where I am today, and in my own day-to-day -day life, making sure that depression doesn't define my identity. Because your identity is just so many different things. It's your culture, it's where you grew up, it's where you're currently at, your friends, your your family, like, there's so many things that play a part to who you are, but not one of them is the soul, the soul identity of you, if that makes sense. You may not always have been depressed, you may not have always had mental health illness, a mental health illness, or even if it's just bad days, you all don't always have them. Like, still try to find the light within, and that light should be you no you are the leader of your own life you take charge of how your day goes you make your own decisions despite it may be feeling like you don't make them you make yourself a routine like you make the conscious effort to be who you are and how you interact with this world you should do it within yourself too keep yourself at a high pedestal because you really at the end of the day only have you you're your own person you're your biggest supporter and hater but nonetheless your own biggest supporter another thing is because it doesn't define who you are don't let it consume you i know it's better said than done but really try to make like find the good in the in life Find the good in a bad situation. Find the good in anything. Like, oftentimes, I find myself saying, like, I have no faith in humanity. When I look at just all the horrible things that are going on in our lives, in our state, in the country, nationally, internationally, you know? Thinking about negatives all the time is very miserable. And why do you want to be miserable? I feel like it's harder to criticize like really really hard to criticize things and to stay negative rather than viewing things as a more positive note and be like you know humanity has taken a lot of wrong turns and at times it does seem like it's gonna go nowhere but there are people in this world that make you not lose complete hope as an example like with things in Palestine with the government I like to focus when I'm thinking too too much abroad to really focus in on life and look at the people around me and realize like I do love humans I love human interaction I love love 
And I want to keep that hope with me that humans can do good. That they're not all bad. Because then I would just stay in my room all day and sulk about it. And I don't want to do that. I want to be able to be free. Be out. Be out in the open. Like, enjoy. Make new friendships. Make new connections with people. And I think you guys should too. I'm going to take a brief pause because my car neighbor is here. And I don't like her. If it, your life still feels like it's not going how the way you want it to, how are you going to pull yourself out? Because you only have you. Ain't nobody know you better than you. And last thing, really do celebrate the little things in your life. Depression is just a small piece. Not even a big one. Your life is so much more than you think it is. Your future is brighter than you think it is. Leave your past in your past. Live on for anything you may not have a specific reason to keep keep going but there's so much to life that you haven't experienced yet that should be exciting not everything is going to stay the same not every situation persists you can do this you really can and i know again Better said than done. But I feel like I've gone through so much that now I can really just keep the past in the past. That everything that affected me so badly is not active in my life anymore. I'm now going through a new set of struggles. I'm trying to fight the loss of motivation in school. I'm trying to find my own place in this world after eventually I graduate college and that's scary to me but I'm also trying to remain present in my own life and appreciate for what I have even though I'm broke I'm appreciative that I'm able to have a job I am appreciative of having an apartment I can still come home to I'm grateful for having access to education, even though right now I don't have a lot of motivation to go to classes. I don't have a lot of motivation to complete homework assignments. Like it's just, it's so difficult and so draining in my head, but I'm at the same time, I'm so grateful to be learning new things and being in a setting that, that stimulates open-mindedness, especially in my own major. So it's really just like looking at the little things in my life and not me not letting my depressive episode, not letting my anxiety take a full control over my own life. Because depression is just it's just a thing. It's not you. And I've learned to do. I've learned to separate it. And hopefully one day you can too. But in the meantime, it doesn't hurt to try that was it for today's video guys if it sounded like i was pure yapping honestly it probably was but i hope you have a great day a great week and see you until the next video goodbye beautiful people Mwah! hugs and kisses and happy first day of the month peace out